322, Sean. We're here at Downtown Fitness in Thunder Bay, and I am talking to Sean Pope, a strong man, but also a strong man. Nice yeah, to meet you. Nice to meet you, buddy. Thanks for letting us come down. Yeah, of course. So let me just ask you a few questions here. How did you get into strongman competitions? So first of all, in 2018, two strongmen from Thunder Bay, Kyle Rayner and Andre Pellerin, came to Terrace Bay and did a little, um, like a build to burn kind of seminar with strongman equipment. They demoed a few things. And I was like, hey, I want to try this out. So I traveled back and forth from Terrace Bay to Thunder Bay for two years, just practicing, getting used to all the implements and getting stronger. And that's how it all started. Then I started in competitions and just went off from there. So what are some of the big differences between working out for, say, aesthetics and working out for just straight up cannonball ferocity? So like aesthetics and stuff, you go to one bar body part. When we use implements, we're using our whole body. Um, we train roughly, like when we're in competitions, we train four times a week. When we're not competitions, we train five, just so we can recover more because we're training harder, obviously, and heavier, and yeah. Yeah. So what's, what's like a daily training session for you? So it depends, like when we're in competitions, we focus on those events, because they usually list them for us. So there's usually five, uh, events in a competition, okay. so we based it off that. Yeah. So, I mean, you can work out as much as you want, but if you want to build strength, if you want to build muscle, everybody knows you have to eat. Yeah. What is your daily diet like? So basically, I go off of the vertical diet. So it's six ounces of meat, a cup of rice, six times a day, and every two hours, basically. You're either doing that or getting your smoothie protein shakes in, or your eggs. Yeah, so something like that. So, how many calories are you putting down a day? Me, I don't keep track, to be honest. Okay. So I just do it until I feel like puking. <laughs> yeah. uh, my, my name is uh, Ben Thompson. I've been competing in strength sport now 15 years. I broke six deadlift world records and two times Silver Dollar Deadlift World Champ. Of course, and they call you the Thunder Bay Deadlift King. That's, that's the mantra I've the been giving. The king is yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, I guess so, you know what I mean? <laughs> you gotta be good at something, as I say. But you're also kind of helping Sean along here. Yeah, you know, and, and me, me and Sean would train together a couple years now. Yeah. And at first, when I saw, would see him competing, I thought, man, this guy has all the potential in the world. And it's been nice that we've kind of had that time together and we'll have that time together because all the mistakes I've made over the years, for me it was trial and error and learn. For him, he gets the kind of, the ironed out process right from the start, which is in part of the reason why you see him at 23 competing against the best in the world. I mean, let's imagine what this guy could do in five years. Look where you're going. Look where you're going. Is there a certain uh, age where a strong man would peak? Because he's 23. 23. But he's on his way, well yeah. on his way. Yeah, and so, Training age is different than chronological age. Some people will start when they're 30 and have success through their 30s. Someone like me who started at 17 won't have six, I won't be killing it when I'm 45, right? Um, but I would say typically that age is probably 25 to 32. In general, of course, there's always exceptions to the rule. That's kind of like that, that category. And for me, my peak was when I was about 30. I mean, my pressing was at its best, my deadlift was at its best, and I just felt like a million bucks. And now I'm kind of trying to hold on to, to that, right? So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And they're also a little bit of a nervous system stimulant. <laughs> <laughs> Stand all the way up straight. And now back into a squat. Hold that right into your chest. Yeah. Like Stand up and roll it with you. Oh, yeah. So I'm pushing those, uh, those legs. Come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Feel it. I'm a strong man. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Okay, I want to talk to you a bit about uh, the competition that you have coming up. Tell me uh, what's going on with that. Okay, so basically they invited uh, 25 athletes all over the world in my weight class, 90 kilos. So the top 25 athletes from the previous year in the competition, and I was one of those. Wow, where is it going to be? It's in, it's just St. Anne's. It's an hour out of Manchester in the UK. Yeah. Oh, in the UK. Yeah. So you're flying to the UK. Yeah. For this. Why do you feel going into that? Are you nervous? <laughs> um, business as usual, you yeah. know. Gotta do what you gotta do, make it have happen. Have you met, how, how many people, like how many friendships have you cultivated through a these lot. things? A lot, I know a lot of the really good guys. We've met last year, obviously. I had a really good year last year. So, 
we'll just gotta keep that rolling and make it happen again. Hey. Sean, thanks so much uh, for showing me around. I'm a little sore, but uh, otherwise unharmed. Uh, good luck in July. Yeah, happy yeah. to have you, and thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Bring those hips through. Good <laughs> stuff. Woo! Did they just drop it? Yeah, just drop it. Buddy. I'm scared to drop it. Good stuff.